Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're just going to take a look at how we can navigate and see our photos in Lightroom Web. First of all, there's an area here called the Dashboard, where you can see a history of things that you've done, like albums that you've created and recent photos that you've uploaded. Obviously, your dashboard will look different from mine, but you should see your own stats over here on the right, as well as have access to news and updates. Okay. I'm going to click on all photos where we can see all of our photographs that have been synchronized, whether they were synchronized from Lightroom CC on the desktop or Lightroom mobile. And we can scroll through these and we can see that they are segmented by month. You can sort the capture time just in so much as you can reverse the order. So you can go oldest to newest or newest to oldest. And we also have the option to show our badge overlays, which will enable us to see either our star ratings or our flag ratings. All right, in order to view an image, we can click on it to see it larger, and then use the icons in the lower right to move from one image to the next. However, I feel it's easier to just use my right arrow and my left arrow keys on the keyboard. We can add flag and star ratings across the bottom, but again, there's keyboard shortcuts for these as well. So if I wanted to pick an image, I could tap the P key. If I want to unflag the image, I tap U and I tap X to mark it as a reject. I use my numeric keys one through five in order to mark my image with the stars. I can click on the I icon or just tap the I key in order to edit the title or add a caption. In this case, I'll just give it a title of Anzo Borrego Desert and then tap return to apply that and tap the I key again in order to hide that panel. Now, I can click on the X icon to return to all photos, but there's two keyboard shortcuts that you might find easier, and that's either tapping the G key to return to grid or tapping the escape key. All right, let's look at collections for a moment. We can click on all collections to see a thumbnail for each one of the collections. If I want to see inside that collection, I just click on that thumbnail. And then again, I can click on an image and use those arrow keys to move back and forth, tapping escape when I want to return to the collection. When I'm in a collection and I click on the eye icon, I have many different options here for filtering. So I could look at just my unflagged, picked, or rejected. I can change the sort by capture time to ascending or descending. I can also choose to sort by a custom order. Very convenient if you've taken the time on another device like Lightroom CC on the desktop to create a custom order, then Lightroom Web will mimic that order here. And again, we can choose whether or not we want to show those badge overlays. All right, let's return to all photos and there you go. Just a quick overview of how to look at your images and also rate them and filter them in Lightroom Web.